Living here is kind of like living on a different planet. The landscape is crazy. Sometimes you hear icebergs breaking off of the glacier behind us, it makes this insane rumbling noise. But I must admit, I didn't really know anything about the continent before I got here. So I'm gonna show you guys around the station and tell you the fun facts everyone needs to know about Antarctica. People get the North Pole and the South Pole confused. We're at the South Pole. The North Pole is a very different place. The North Pole is all water. You know, it'll freeze over and you can walk on it. That's why you see pictures of like polar bears walking around. But it's still an ocean. It's just a layer of ice on top of an ocean. The South Pole is a giant continent. Antarctica is usually at the bottom of normal maps, so it's hard to tell exactly how big it is because it gets all stretched out. To help me explain the size of Antarctica is Palmer Station Manager Bob Farrell. So a lot of times people will think Antarctica and the South Pole are the same place, but in fact Antarctica is a very large place. It's about the size of the United States and Mexico combined. Uh, for example, Palmer Station, we're the farthest north of the three U.S. stations. We're off the west coast of the Antarctic Peninsula on Anvers Island. And you can see up here that, that the South Pole is this way, and it's about 1,750 miles from here to the South Pole. That's the same distance as a road trip from Boston to Dallas, Texas. The area around the South Pole is the coldest place on Earth. The coldest temperature ever recorded was on the East Antarctic Plateau, negative 133.6 degrees Fahrenheit. In the hot tub, it's 102 degrees. No single country owns Antarctica. The whole world got together and decided that the only thing humanity would do in Antarctica is scientific research. Back in the 50s, they established the Antarctic Treaty, where all the nations who had claims in the Antarctic agreed to share the continent and nobody would enforce their claims. So it's a, it's a continent for science and peaceful purposes. Palmer's a great place to see wildlife. On our first day, we went out looking for some whales and we got crazy close to two humpbacks in these tiny little boats. It was awesome, but of course I didn't get any good footage of it. Holy God, oh my God, they're right there. Most of the penguins have left for the winter, but there are a couple stragglers. And for some reason, they always seem to be looking at sunsets. And of course, there's always a plethora of seals just kind of laying around. A bunch of people living here have asked me to make the following public service announcement. There are no polar bears in Antarctica. They're at the North Pole, we're at the South Pole. We're literally as far away from polar bears as a person can be without going into space. Okay, so if you look across the bay here, you'll see a small island in the foreground there with ice covering it, and that's called Dietrich Island. It's named for Dr. Bill Dietrich, who's a long-term researcher here at Palmer Station. Yeah, so why don't you tell me about how you're feeling? You got home from the hospital, right? Uh, yes, I'm uh, home from the hospital. Uh, I was um, uh, had surgery for repair of my uh, fractured pelvis and um, uh, my fractured hip. And I guess I got home about um, four or five days ago. Me and a bunch of people on station uh, did a landing on Dietrich Island. I hear that it's a relatively new island. About four or five years ago, you, you would not have seen that. It was uh, revealed when the Mar Ice Piedmont lost more ice. What appeared was an island that had been previously buried under the glacier. This was where the glacier front was in 1997. So this area right here is where Dietrich Island is. Uh, so that used to be the front of the glacier. And since then, now you've seen how far back the glacier has moved in the last 20 years. So uh, actually, I just sent you an email. You should check it out. I can bring that up. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Bill, thank you very much. That's uh, really fantastic. <laughs> All right, everybody, I saved the best thing for last. Maybe the craziest thing about Antarctica, which is the glaciers.
Antarctica is so cold that when it snows here, it, it just never melts. So it's basically able to just pile up indefinitely. And then fast forward millions of years, and the entire continent has been covered by a pile of snow that's literally thousands of feet high. This is like the smallest one here. We can't get close to the big one because like the ice breaks off and it's d too dangerous to get close to. So this is the small one, but the shot from the station will show you how like this, this one looks tiny compared to the big one, but then when you stand next to it, it looks like, it looks, you know, it's, it's insane. The face of that other glacier is only 200 feet high. And I say only because when you have a pile of snow, it'll slope down towards the edges. So it gets thinner at the ends. When you go all the way in to like the middle of the glacier behind me, it's 2000 feet high which is 1.3 Empire State Buildings, a continent bigger than the United States, covered in a pile of snow, measured in Empire State Buildings. It's insane. We can't get close to that other glacier face, but we can hike up it. So I'm gonna hike up it, we're gonna see what's at the top. <laughs> It's crazy to think that human beings have been living on this earth for 200,000 years and for pretty much most of that time, no one even knew that this existed. You know, like, it's completely isolated. No human outside of these little flags where we're allowed to hike has ever touched any of that ice. You know, penguins don't come up here, the seals don't come up here. Like, Palmer Station is cool and all, but this is where it's at. Like, this is unbelievable. I lied. One more thing. Uh, we do have internet at Palmer Station because we have a big satellite that shoots us internet from space. It's pretty cool to text your friends while you're next to icebergs and stuff. But that also means I get to answer a question that I had before I even got on the plane, which is, what kind of Pokemon live in Antarctica? Oh, yes. What is it? Articuno or Bust. Valerie. I don't know this one. Whatever. Arrgh. Being an Antarctic explorer is hard. My internet connection keeps dropping out. <laughs>